Hi, this is Mary Kay. I'm going to paint a painting of the total solar eclipse in the style of when I'm traveling. So I have a little card here. If I were traveling, I would have a picture on my phone, but since my phone's using, I'm using it to record this, I just have a photograph instead. So the first thing I did was I looked around the kitchen for something that would be the right shape, or the, the shape is circle, the right size. And I found this applesauce container and traced around the edge. I'm using a little bigger container of water than I travel with. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wet my card with water and then I'm going to paint the inky sky with neutral tint nice thick dark neutral tint I've been using this color since last August and I like it because it has a violet in it. What I'm trying to do is make this look like the inky sky with the corona going into it. So I'm painting the corners and around the circle. Nice, nice and dark. I'm going to rinse my brush out and add water to this outside of the moon over the sun. And when this water hits that paint, it should start to make some beautiful watermarks that resemble a corona. Let me get this in a little closer. Okay, I think it's happening a little bit. So I'm using the water to make it look like the corona. The water the water's charging into the black paint. It's not quite here yet. Is that a little more water right here? Get it to get it to charge out. I think it's gonna start doing it now. You have to be a little bit patient because the water's flowing slowly. I like how it's looking. When I was watching the eclipse, when you're actually watching it, the corona looks much bigger. So this photo doesn't really capture it because it's really brighter and goes out much farther. So the painting is really more like what it really looks like. But because this is a video for YouTube, I'm going to dry this instead of just letting it work and continue to work and get really really nice. I'm just going to dry it so we can move on.
this went squirting off. Now I'm just going to paint the inside. It's pretty dry. I'm going to do exactly the same color, just super dark right in the center. This is where this, the moon is over the sun. I'm going to go until I cover up that pencil mark. <laughs> I made a little mistake there. That's okay. You have to be perfect. It's a painting. It's got a little bump because my drawing wasn't very good and I tried to cover up that one little pencil mark. Now I'm probably just going to make it bigger and bigger and <laughs> like trying to get a lighthouse the same on both sides. Oh my gosh. I think I need to quit. Okay. I got a bump on my moon. <laughs> oh well. Now I'm going to put in the prominences, which is permanent rose with just a little bit of yellow to make that orangish color of our sun, orangish red. Okay, so the one I saw with the naked eye was out here, and then other painting, other photographs showed different solar prominences later. I'm just going to stop just like that. And there I have a painting of the total eclipse of the sun.